The views and opinions of the host and of the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the show, or Taco Pay PH, and of Global TV Network. Let's talk about your favorite anime. Rate, discuss, and theorize on your favorite episodes. Stand your favorite Pinoy cosplayers and listen to Pinoy J-pop rising icons. In partnership with Global TV Network and Otaku Play PH, we're now bringing you the latest in everything anime with an amazing show. With your hosts, Ralph Labitag, IK Divina, and Jay Agonoy. An amazing show! Good afternoon. This is your an amazing show for Ano bang araw na ngayon? February 7. February 7. Yeah. Wala na ako sa pecha. <laughs> I'm Jay Agonoy. <laughs> yes, this is IK Divina and magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. I hope you had a great weekend and a very productive weekday last week. Mm-hmm. I hope sana um this to do this episode we do have a special guest as we had promised as I have promised last time. We yes. will be having a special guest for interview to be interviewed today. Although, mm-hmm. um, how can I say she's, this? She's, <laughs> mm, diba? Okay. Um, basically, um, she's with us, but she's not with us, but she's with us. Yeah, That's the easiest way to say it. That's basically it. <laughs> uh, we all, um, basically, uh, eto, we won't spoil the rest of the show, but we would like to first greet. The following, Aki Gonzalez, good afternoon sa'yo. Let's go! Prince Kit Clark. <laughs> yes, and they're yeah. asking if we can guest at Tarashiga ko. Um, 88 Rising, can anyone from 88 Rising get in touch with us? Or can where can we get, get in touch with 88 Rising? You know, at ko is one of the wackiest people so much that they are even open to a collab with Di Unique Salonga. Di Unique Salonga. Kasi magkamukha naman si Suzo at saka si, si Unique. Eh. Which is fair enough. Fair enough. Pero, uh, yan yung point. Uh, pero, I'm not sure. I cannot guarantee. We cannot guarantee. So, hugot tayo sa powers ni Master Pogi! Sabay inom. <laughs> oh, sabay inom. Ayan. Yun nga. So, uh, good afternoon po sa mga, manu- uh, mga viewers natin all over Facebook. We're live on Keepsakes, we're live on Otaku Play PH, we're live on Global TV Network coverage on Facebook. So, okay, kumusta? <laughs> Actually, uh-oh. Kasi, I have something to share, no? Sakong sakto, I have something to share. So, uh, this week, nitong week lang, last week lang, I encountered this tweet. Sa, I encountered this tweet from the DOTRMRT3, the ever, the ever, I know, um, but we all know that, um, uh, Jay, can you show this, ah? Uh, later, ano? later, later, part of our conversation, mamaya. Don't let's spoil it. Uh, okay, yes. But okay, since so, you yes, mentioned that tweet, oh. ito yung, ano, itong tweet na to, itong tweet na to, yung mag, nagpatakbo kay IK sa Twitter. Pero, well, we'll look at that <laughs> later on. Dami nating tao dito. It's uh, basically mara- oo. Mm-mm. Is it pero to be honest, to be honest that was the that tweet was just ano na lang the tip of the iceberg eh. Dito yung Oh, wala. Mm-mm. Yung next start no aking curiosity on how um how the they, MRT ano? was currently promoted this week which was really oh, surprising, oh. no? Oh, pero oh, ito oh. the honest no. If it were if it were happen in reality, mapapatakbo talaga ako eh. <laughs> Yes, kasi even if Hindi, I see it, ano, I want to talk to Pikit mata ka na lang. Sa akin kasi if that happens to me, pikit mata na lang. Tapos isa, yeah. isa just mo na lahat. That's out of your control na. Hindi, ano. I am si- yeah, ah, serious, ah, serious, man. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, wala talaga. No holds part. So, sa akin naman, um, my, I, uh, if, ano, some of my friends know this, sabi ko last time, I may not have more time in Cap- uh, in my home base uh, in here in Capitolio pero siguro nabigyan tayo by sheer chance nabigyan tayo ng counting time pa to to have this uh, to sort this out uh, so yon uh, the rest of the week uh, yeah by the way it's Chinese New Year next week February 11 where did I get the yeah. calendar 11 and 12 Mm-mm. 11 and 12 11 and oh 11 and 12 oh, oh. 
Ayan. Okay, oh. so pabati muna tayo. Aside from Aki and Prince, we have Ms. Elvira Gomez. Hello po and good afternoon. We hope you enjoy your Sunday watching us. So now, we will now proceed doon sa isa sa mga ta- uh, prime segments natin dito sa Animazing Show, which is the news presented to you by IK. So, let's take it away. Last Thursday, the editorial department of Shonen Jump posted a notice about a circulating fake Twitter account claiming that it is owned by the author of Jujutsu Kaisen, Gege Akutami. Shonen Jump has warned the public not to believe the fake account's claims. The statement itself gained more than 5,000 Twitter interactions, and concerned fans have gathered their friends to participate in reporting the fake accounts claiming to be the author. Following the success of Japanese-style adventure drama Demon Slayer, the author himself, Koyoharu Kotoge, is thinking of creating a sci-fi romantic comedy series for his next project, which is the exact opposite of Demon Slayer's concept. The author added that it is very interesting to see their impression of old sci-fi movies come to life since there is a big difference in people's perspectives when they were children compared to how they see things now as an adult. The official Twitter of Black Clover's anime series adaptation has uploaded a teaser video announcing that episode 170, the series finale, is scheduled to broadcast by March 30, 2021. A big announcement will also be revealed right after the finale has been aired. Black Clover was based on the Japanese manga series created by Yuki Tabata and was published under Shonen Jump since February 2015. The anime adaptation started airing 6 October 2017 with more than 100 episodes to current date. The voice actor of Bleach's Ichigo Kurosaki, Masakazu Morita, will be joining the cast for the anime remake of Shaman King, originally aired back in the year 2001, as Amidamono's childhood friend Mosuke, which was originally voiced by Hisao Egawa. Morita will be... Ayan, okay. So, thank you, Aggie, for the news. Uh, may pahapon lang tayong comment dito from Aki Gonzalez. Ito, to, ano, just to clear everything. Eh. Is it true na yung voice actor ni Subaru live in the Philippines to improve his voice acting? No! Absolutely not! That was from a satire po. That was a satire post, satirical post, from a page, Believe It's Anime Enthusiast. We all know Philippines is a, a country full of suffering, pero siguro we we are better than Myanmar at the moment. But not not to get too political about that. Pero just to be clear, hindi po totoo. It's a false, okay? It's a hoax. It's satire, satire, guys. Nakakaintindi po ba tayo na satire? All right? So yan. Okay. Whew, just me, yo. Pero okay, moving back. <laughs> Hindi, kasi one time may shinner din ako. That was from a page called Believe It's Anime Enthusiasts. And that was a satire page. Guys, ang dali na naman natin maniwala. <laughs> and that, with that said, pag sobrang na paniwala tayo noon, hindi na po tayo magsishare ng mga kung ano-anong kalitsihan. Kasi that was good bait, guys. So, you will learn the way. That is not the way <laughs> we learn things. Okay, you will learn the way as... Uh, as long as you keep tabs with people you trust. And of course, don't trust the satter page too much. Just just go for it for the laughs. Yeah. Right. So, uh moving going back to the news. Um last time we talked about Jujutsu Kaisen. Now we go back to Kimetsu no Yaiba, but instead of talking about Kimetsu no Yaiba, we are going to talk about yung concept nga ni Gotoge sana, sci-fi rom-com. Will this be like a mix of Gintama or ano, uh, Gintama and Kagesama? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, that said, uh, ano, ano, ano pa mga insights mo dun sa mga na balita kanina? As, uh, you have the notes. You have the notes, IK. So, ano pa bang insights na kailangan malaman doon? Am I coming in clear? Yeah, oh yeah. I ayun. I, I sorry guys, I think na ano, karon na ako ng counting technical uh-huh. difficulties in my end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's rehash. So, yeah. so, yun nga no. Regarding mm-hmm. that sa so, ano, 
it was um for me ha and teka sorry nawala kasi ako bigla sorry oh so we were talking know. about Gotogesan's newest concept sci-fi romantic comedy yeah yeah so actually surprising to be honest the new there's this one thing na na nagulat ako when I read when I saw the new when I saw the interview na no, don sa regarding sa kanyang bagong project um um seeing seeing the author na doing something some Something that's different, some something that's um lighter than Demon, something that's not not as heavy as Demon Slayer. Because we all know Demon Slayer. So nung sinod yun na matay, so nung sinod yung mga nangyare, sobrang bigat. But then um then Koyaharu decided to do something na an impression of old sci-fi films. I um, mean you, know, you know old sci-fi films, for example, E.T. Ah, uh, no pa. Dami, dami nga ano, ng mga old sci-fi films na sobrang minahal ng public. Na nga ano. So, yun na tayo. I, I do think na, I do think, uh, I agree with him. We all have our, our own perspective. So, what we see things differently no mga bata pa tayo, what would yung, and as to how we see things when we got, when we got older. Ano ba? Ano ko ba sa sa? Paano ko? How can I say it as an example? Um, mga nostalgic hmm. moments ba? Maybe. Um, not just nostalgic moments, eh. Parang, ano ba yun? When you, when you see something na, something na, when you see something, for example, another TV show, for example, another anime, maybe, na napanood mo ng bata. Then, eventually, then, when you got, when you got older, when you decided to watch it again, sobrang new yung feeling. <laughs> Parang ganun. So, for example, sige, um, certain example. I actually watched Toradora when I was back in around high school, first year high school. Was still ano? Was still sobrang ano pa? Sobrang sikat pa ng Team Five for having oh, anime oh, oh, on prime time. Lakin anime ka kang akin pala, no? I forgot. Yeah, yun nga. So yun dong. Ano si Toro Dora? When it's just it's just ano simple na rom com mga ganyan. But then eventually nakaroon ng konting bigat on the second half of the second half of the anime and how how it turned out. Pero hindi alam mo yun there's this one time na hindi ko na gets kung ano yung ibig sabihin no why 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 do you know why do why do they act why did they act that way and then when i got older I was like 20 last year last last year ko lang pinanood ulit ng dere derecho did you realize no no many realizations parang halka ah kaya pala mga ganun as we experience um as we experience life as we get older we we learn a lot of things that I learned a lot of things that like, made us either mature or made us stronger and um <clears throat> yung gano, yung mga ganun. okay another thing about Toradora was the second ending um the second ending song orange yung gano. Oh, oh. Oh, yung favorite ko yun, not just because <laughs> naging, naging favorite ko siya just because I didn't know I didn't know what you know what made me like the song and then yeah, then eventually ko, na, no? then eventually na to, ko and then I researched the, I researched the lyrics then on we, we, uh, you you uh, no, they actually um represented like as an orange yung ganun. like this is a bit where, um the orange has um parang nagmamadali na nagmagrow nagmamadali na magripen but then, by, 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 then when you ta- as the time goes by, then I realize maybe that's why, uh, maybe that's why it's my favorite song. Mga ganun. So, so, so yun, compared to, in parallel to what Koyo had to say, um, this is something that, that would, I think, the fans would look forward to, especially yung mga na hook sa Demon Slayer. Like my, like my friends out there, hi guys. I know, <laughs> I know you guys. I know it is something that you should look forward to. The next project ni Koyo Haru, and, and I think uh, it will be a blast. Ayan na. Okay, so <laughs> naniniguro tong si Ake Gonzalez. Okay, how many episodes Hunter x Hunter could be getting in uh, a new animated project? Uh, saw that in Anime Corner News. I'm reading the story right now in Anime Corner News. Uh, when it's posted on Anime Corner News, I, I vouch for it. Uh, it's been vetted and all. Because uh, just to disclose, I'm also part of the uh, people at the Anime Corner. It's one of the consultants. So, uh, hindi ka na butol. What's posted there isn't satire. <laughs> okay? 
Just to be clear. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, just don't, uh, just, just take whatever believe it's anime enthusiast post, what, what they post as satire. Tumawa ka lang. O, ano, pikit matatawa ka. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, huwag natin patagalin pa. May naghihintay dito. Let's go down to our animation community. Alright, okay. So, okay. Um, wala tayo masyadong balita na masakap pag-usapan except for the fact that politicians and the government are using anime as soft power to attract more people to get interested in what they are doing. So, uh, eto, magsisimula tayo sa alamat ng DOTR. Alright? Alamat ng DOTR. So, this is a post Uh, from the DOTR themselves showing their TBM cutter head in comparison to the card titan the TBM cutter head is reportedly to have a diameter of 7 meters ito yung ipanti drill sa underground tunnel na gagawin sa ano, underground di ba yung mga ano it's one of their plans And some anime fan who is part of the OTR's so, uh, social media team decided that this is fun. Right? <coughs> sa Facebook post ni Jane Del Campo, inilarawan niya sukat ng laki at bigat ng isang TBM. Kung ikukumpara sa Kart Titan na may sukat lamang na 4 meters, di hamak na mas malaki ang TBM sa kanyang sukat na around 7 meters, 6.99 meters, haba na 95 meters, at bigat na 700 tons. So, eto yung sabi na, of course, spoiler alert, we have uh, latest Attack on Titan. Kahit ako, napansin ko din yan because again, my boss was watching it. Uh, yung, ano, discard Titan right here. Uh, nagugulat ako sa mga Titans na to, how they were, ano eh, how, how are they illustrated or described in a way and then, nandun lang sila sa loob, dun sa batok lang. Nakasabit yeah, lang. lang. <laughs> diba? Diba? Yun yung malupit eh. So, uh, ayun, ano? So, uh, Titan, no? <laughs> oo. Ang sabi pa nga dito, let's get back to the slides. Kaya habang napapagaling ang Card Titan, pagkatapos magtama na matinding sugat, spoiler alert, mula oh, yeah. sa huling laban nila ni Eren, talaga nag spoiler talaga, DOTR, walang pakita sa spoilers, no? At habang hinihintay natin ng next episode ng anime na Attack on Titan, dito muna tayo sa TBM Cutterhead. Abangan bukas. And ito, ito, may pasaring pa, may pahaging pa eh. Sa huli, si Eren at TBM lang ang malakas. Sakalam! And it got 29,000 reactions, likes, hearts, laughs, 3.4k comments, 18,000 shares. That's anime soft power for you, ladies and gentlemen. Sabi ni Aki, swerte man nila kung uh, makita nila yung Kart Titan while draining for the subway project. I believe that's not in the lore. Though may, sobrang nagdami nag-share niya with meme quotes. Um, to the fact na even the MRT3 yeah. had, had this one posted. So parang, eh di ba bawal mag-picture sa loob ng MRT3? Although this is the MRT3 account. Good pang good vibes lang nila. The thing is, eto, eto isang malupit eh. Teka, buksan ko lang tong ano. Uh, the thing is, si IK, eto uh, yung reply niya eh. Lupit no? <laughs> Takbo! Takbo chong! Ayan sila. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah. okay uh, as much as I want to see the Colossal Titan in person, mas mahal ko yung buhay ko, so... <laughs> takbo na lang. <laughs> takbo na lang, takbo na lang, Chong. Now, uh, this doesn't... Uh, ano ba to? Yung... The gov- this is the government using anime as a soft power, ano? How, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, a reference to attract fans na... Yes. Hook, line, and sinker. Hook, line, and sinker tayo dyan eh. Absolute bait. But, if we look at this, uh, okay, we go back to this tweet, yan nga, di ba? Hook, line, and sinker. Si IK na hook, line, and sinker yan. Now, we look at the 
following. So, hindi lang to nangyayari sa basa sa Pilipinas, no? This one okay. here, uh, this one here, uh, I hope you can see my mouse. This one here is a re-electionist uh, governor of Osaka. So, this one here is a politician. And this one here, parang familiar, no? They even have QR codes. They even have QR codes. <laughs> so, this is for Japan's Innovation Party. And they, uh, Japan will have its own elections this year around uh, the fall. The end, uh, no, last quarter of the year. And yun nga. So, uh, this reaction garnered, uh, this, this, this tweet already garnered 700... Uh, 2000 uh, more than uh, around 2500 tweets or oh, 2400 tweets and the people were disappointed with this because of course the, the topic of copyright and all so yeah. um, even the even uh, yung publisher nitong uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba which is ito yung pinagbasihan nung ano nung familiar na poster this is very familiar and sabi na Weekly Shonen Jump, they have no nothing to do with it. They deny any connection with it. They have nothing to do with it. And this is not the first time na nangyari ito. I, uh, we've already seen uh, before na in sabi natin Hong Kong, ganito may similar motive din. But uh, this uh, we're, we're going to talk about Hong Kong's police force mascot, the Little Grape. Uh, na nakasuot naka nakagarbo na malatanjiro of yeah. course people uh, of course people were disappointed because they've been disappointed with Hong Kong police up to this day but that's for another right. story uh, yeah. in uh, an- another story in Japan we have uh, sa Tokyo naman this is in Osaka that was in Osaka yung kanina no? mm. this was in Osaka in Tokyo naman uh, for the gubernatorial election uh, may isang politiko doon uh, he, he's been referred to as a perennial candidate takbo lang ng takbo, hindi na nanalo and then he decided to do this gimmick na nag-cosplay kaya ako ng Lelouch from a political anime called Code Geass Son of a Gun, count me in pero except that Sunrise uh, also did what uh, Weekly Shonen Jump did with this one they denied anything Wala kami pake dyan. Wala kami connection dyan. And that, that, that came, uh, it came to a point na yung politiko mismo, uh, I'm sorry, tatanggal ko na yung poster sa, sa area, nakapaskill, and all and all. Pero, uh, yun nga, no, uh, uh, pahabol na naman si Aki. Uh, hindi rin magtatakaw na. <laughs> uh, ah, oh my God, okay. Thank you, election, yabay. So this is a yabay election. Okay, gets yabay. gets kita diyan. Hindi na rin magtatak, hindi na rin, hindi na rin ako magtataka kung sa darating na election next year may ilang candidates na marinig kanin yung red na red edition ng Kimino Tariko or Summertime. Excuse me. Um, um, um this actually happened. That's possible. Uh, That's highly yeah, possible. possible. Yeah, actually ano nga, um fight lang, a fight ha. There's actually ano, no, there's actually there uh, like a few weeks ago, I think last month. Um, there was actually a circulating article, I think, from from a very from a news giant, no, na web na newspaper. Um, actually, the, a certain a certain congressman, um, gathered around seven seven of um six more of his fellow congressmen and called themselves the BTS of the Congress. Ah, uh, uh, back to yes. back to ano back to session, back to uh, no. back there's to no, they're going they're, they're actually going there there were actually plans of their them using that to run for the 2022 elections uh, okay that was actually, that was part of the plans okay okay so i know ah medyo related medyo ano to ah um so go in the army jan oh some army sinukot talaga <laughs> ayun tayo eh you know sinukot this talaga. congressman this is a very popular congressman he was actually a former speaker of the house who doesn't want to let go of his position as far as I can see it. Yep, yep. Needed. Ilan di pa lang um, ako dyan sa ano. The, the city is letter T. You know what, uh, you know, you know where, who, who I'm talking about. Pero, yun okay. nga, ano, to use BTS like that, 
talagang susugurin ka ng army. And this is yeah. called the an- mm-hmm. Animazing Show. But we're, um, on another note, ano, may nagsisilabasan na rin na videos, Kizuna I Dance to Dynamite, a Watagay group called JK's also Dance to Dynamite. Yeah. We're going to solve the loop. We're going to solve the loop. Malapit na, malapit na, malapit na. We're almost there. So, um, and on another note, may naki- uh, I was just fi- I just finished watching a cover of Koreha Korono, virtual YouTubers. Koreha Korono and Muna Hoshinoba of um, ano bang tawag dito? Ang kanta, How We Don't Like That? Blackpink? You're familiar I like with that? that? Uh, I like that. <laughs> ang ganda, ang ganda. So, uh, in the next coming weeks, siguro inaasahan ko na may mga cover songs na gagawin ng mga VTubers. Uh, they will cover more K-pop songs. Yeah. Which is, also K-pop is, by the way, K-pop is also a popular genre in Japan. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. Isipin mo, um, like, like right now, no? Actually, nung ano din, no, na-discuss to back then, eh, sa Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll Expo last year, no? The convergence mm-hmm. of K-pop and anime. Especially due to the, ano, no? You, um, for Stray Kids performing for the ah, opening oh, of the, Kids, the oh. anime Tower of God, of course. And sumunod pa dyan yung TXT, the TXT on, on Black Clover as well. And um, to be honest, this is actually not the first time, no? For it's not actually not the first time for for K-pop acts to perform for an opening, uh, opening or ending of anime. So Boa has done it. Boa oh, is Boa. actually Boa is under um, the same label as EXO, and then she performed in like in the ninth, like back then, no? So pioneer, si Boa, no? For especially for Inuyasha Fairy Tale and so on and so forth. So yun nga, hindi siya nakaka bago for to be for in my in my perspective, no. And um not not only that na no, this day is not only that um K-pop acts has also per, K-pop acts perform for animes but also for J dramas as well. On counting trivia, counting trivia B- BTS has performed for the original soundtrack of the Japanese drama remake of the famous K-drama Signal. So, yung signal na was a very um, popular na, na mystery genre na K-drama. And nagkaroon siya ng Japanese drama remake, of course, with BTS performing as the theme song writer, which is entitled Don't Leave Me. So, this is basically it. And then, sumunod pa yun, they also perform for as the, perform for the OST of an, ano na, um, a film, a Japanese ega called Your Eyes Tell, and then they have this theme song with, with that and with that same as the title. No? Uh, sorry, I'm quite blabbering. <laughs> anyway, um, how can I say this? <clears throat> so, going back to going back to I don't know, no, the using of, polit- using of politics, no, the using of gigs for political campaigns, like such as the Nangyari in Japan and na. Now it's um hmm. <laughs> it's quite surprising for me na na there the it's still it, it kind of to be honest no it kind of works um not honest you know um how can because it so on the social exam of explaining works I'm not really good in political campaigns but I could say something as some in the per in a di- different perspective Jay how <laughs> do you think I need help here yah what's another one in some political campaigns. <laughs> I'm not also good in political campaigns, but when it it's, it hits, it hits talaga eh. So, uh, yung mga catchy jingles na yan, mga kanta, of course, uh, you will pay, you will commission like random uh, uh, mga composers to compose a jingle for you. Tapos ibablast sa mga, ano, no? How do you call it? Mga megaphones. Yeah. Yes. Oh, ayan, sorry. Nadidig hi. <laughs> Anyway, ayun. So, yun nga. There is something na nun, it's, 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 I think, I do think na nun, no? I, although it's part of their strategy to mm-hmm. attract, no? It really attract, is. It really is part of yeah. strategy. Kasi who in the world will cater to an anime audience? Ang, um, ito, ito, I for, almost forgot this, ano? There's this, uh, legis, uh, legislator, politician siya nga, ano, uh, ano siya, she, uh, ano bang tawag dito? Her name is Lai Pinyu. I've featured this in Anime Corner before. 
So, uh, si Lai Ping Yu, uh, one, so, during some of her campaign runs, she cosplays as Asuka from Evangelion. Yeah. Imagine that. And, then, and she's actually a legit cosplayer, ah. Mind you. Mm-hmm. And hindi biro yung ginawa niya. Pero, uh, of course, Taiwan, to me, is Japan number two. Knowing that the culture in Taiwan has really grown uh, in uh, it's seeped in the culture na if there's uh, some films made in Taiwan na they have anime references like Sailor Moon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of all references so that one is uh, something and of course if the power is used uh, if it does, the anime soft power is used well edi magandang leverage yun ang outcome is she won the election few years ago mm-hmm. and she is now a legislator for one of the constituencies in Taiwan so sometimes it hits sometimes it misses so that's election campaigning for you Pero nowadays, hindi mo na magagawa mag-Evangelion cosplay while uh, doing uh, a political campaign, campaign, ano, campaign rally because simply put, eh, Kara wished uh, Kara, the, the, uh, the one who's holding the Evangelion IP and all, has basically wished, ask everyone to respect their wishes. Huwag niyong ilud or huwag niyong i-misrepresent yung Evangelion as a series or any of the characters. That's as far as I understood that. As it does, it's easy to know. And yeah, speaking of, um, di ba last time we discussed yung yung issue about dun sa ano, yung being developed, uh, the, the, the win-win situation that Japan is planning uh, for the cosplay industry and for the licensors of the series. So it's still in development. Wala pa naman tayo masyadong balita doon. But I think that's about it for our animation community at this time, no? So, uh, thank you for your reactions and we will now move on to our much-awaited guest. So, before we proceed, I've already in, uh, we've already featured her on the show and her name is Singing Cosplayer Hikari. Now, she is okay to have an interview pero... Uh, due to some circumstances, she will tell more about it later, na no? uh, as we go with her segment. Uh, uh, we uh, she opted to answer a few questions sent in advance. So, ladies and gentlemen, with our feature on the rundown, singing cosplay hikari. Let's go. time, I was offered an interview for the program, but unfortunately my English is not good enough to answer the questions in English in real time, so I will be answering questions that I received in advance. Question 1. Who is singing cosplay Hikari? She is me. I am Japanese girl. Question 2. When did you start cosplaying and what inspired you. I've just started cosplaying January 1st this year. Yes, this project is the for the first time. It's not for me to say as a cosplay beginner. But I try to be aware of what what the work is trying to convey and the world view. Question 3. Why decide to both cosplay and sing? Because I love singing and to get to know me on YouTube. Wouldn't it make a big impact if I sang while cosplaying? That's what I thought. Question 4. What are your plans in the future? The theme for the second season is Vocaloid. I will change the theme of the work every 6 weeks and sing a cover song video of related to that work in cosplay. I'd be happy to sing original songs one day and become a music artist in the future. Question 5. Can you sing live for us? Yes. 
I'm going to sing live in April 29, my birthday. So I will send out details of the live video streaming to everyone around the world soon. Hello, I am singing cosplayer Hikari. Thank you for your watching from all over the world. Soon, my second project will be uploaded. The theme is Vocaloid like Miku Hatsune or Gumi. I hope you are as excited as I am. Yeah, and so thank you very much, Singing Cosplay Hikari, for joining us actually. She's in the comments right now. So, uh, yeah, uh, Singing Cosplay Hikari, you can subscribe to her YouTube for her next project. You can go to her Facebook, which is uh, facebook.com slash Singing Cosplay Hikari. And uh, I think uh, that's about it. It's just a fast, fast ton of everything that's been running in the anime community and, uh, and uh, so on. And on. IK, do you have any last... Uh, few words so far for the show um, okay um first and foremost i'd like to thank the people who submitted so for my special podcast this february mm. um although there's some na later but hinabol ko na lang din for the recording i am very glad very much glad that you guys have participated for this special podcast na for this february <clears throat> uh about that um not, um submissions are still open and still welcoming um new let new let new submissions from uh, from various people and I'm looking forward to read your letters as well. Also, um hmm, I wanna say this. Um a uh, new work will be published soon. Um new novel will be published soon on Wattpad, so I please do check please do follow uh, follow and interact with me. And share your ideas or insights about my works. I would be really happy to read your feedback as well. Also, please do uh, aside from that, please do rem please do remember to interact with us on Facebook, um, on Taco Play PH, Global TV Network, um, on my page, IK Divina, Browse, Browse Playground. I mean, Miss Kanamen. Miss Kanamen, Babalikaren. Babalikaren. And of mm -mm. course, Jay, uh, your announcement. Okay. So far, okay, after this program, we will be doing a podcast recording na. So again, uh, the announcement last time still stays true to this moment. Two podcast episodes coming up on Keepsakes. So that's uh, anchor.fm slash Keepsakes. And on YouTube, youtube.com slash Jayagonoy. Uh, let's uh, have one more run of the comments. Stay an amazing, guys. Thank you for the infos and humor. You enjoyed a lot. Thank you very much again. That's Aki Gonzalez. Thank you, Singi Cosplay Hikari, for joining us as well. Thank and, you so much. I look uh -oh. forward to meeting you soon. And yes, uh, we'll uh, upload that segment separately on uh, YouTube. Ano? Just watch for that one. And we will be seeing you in the next Animazing Show. Next week, we'll see you again at the same time, 4.30pm on Facebook. This has been Jagoni with Aki Divina. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. So, bye bye. Bye. Stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay random, everyone. Let's talk about your favorite anime. Rate, discuss, and theorize on your favorite episodes. Stand your favorite Pinoy cosplayers and listen to Pinoy J pop rising icons. In partnership with Global TV Network and Otaku Play PH. We're now bringing you the latest in everything anime with Animazing Show. With your hosts, Ralph Labitag, IK Divina, and Jay Agonoy. Animazing Show!